Hey guys, today I'm coming with you with a little bit of a vlog. It's not gonna be, for me, a very happy message, but it's one we're gonna have to do and get through anyway. So you guys have noticed during the stream that sometimes I have some blue screen issues. I've had uh, some connection troubles, everything. We've been really working really, really hard on fixing that. I mean, it went from rerouting the channel from Panama to, you know, figuring out all the configurations of the modem, crossing the line. <laughs> On that regard with the internet company making sure we're on like special ip addresses jesus fucking christ man i've been on the phone with the internet company huge shout out to gesterica for helping me so much with all that so the internet signal crystal fucking clear right now couldn't be couldn't be better there's no disturbing there's no issues with it there's still a lot of frame drops when i'm streaming and with examining all the memory dump files with uh, seeing where the problems come from it says that it's something different every time which should not be possible. But it usually means that there's something wrong with the motherboard. So that's the thing that we know now. Also just looking at it, like the, the internet cable that's plugged in, it has a red light with an orange flashing light. There's nothing wrong with the connection. It's purely my hardware. It could have been caused by traveling. It could have been damaged. It could have been anything else or just worn down because I do so much stuff with my computer. But I'm gonna have to replace the motherboard. It is slowly dying. Like when I play videos full screen, my screens start flickering. Uh, some of my USB ports aren't working. So the LAN connection isn't performing right. That also means I can't get like an external USB adapter because the uh, LAN adapter because of the USB issues. So lots of little issues. Normally you would say order new motherboard. Yes, you're very right. The stores here don't have it in Panama City. Ordering the landlord told us that sometimes stuff get lost mysteriously, especially if it looks like expensive uh, PC stuff UPS loses it sometimes or whoever delivers it You might also be fined a lot for bringing new computer stuff in the country or there could be a huge delay So seeing as we only have two more weeks left in Panama City and then we're gonna go on to Canada I don't think that is worth the trouble the headache and all the extra costs that can come with it because I have, I'm just gonna replace all the RAM and stuff too. So it's, you know, I'm not gonna have close to a thousand dollars worth of stuff lost in translation, I think here. That does leave me to draw the conclusion that I won't be able to stream for the next two weeks because I've tried now a few days in a row and every time it's frames drop, frame drops, frame drops. And that's the problem, right? Like poker is super intense. Like playing poker for thousands of dollars every day, you can't have other stuff to worry about as well. And then streaming on top of it is, is such a high pressure exhausting thing to do and i love what i do it gives me energy i'm happy i wake up i want to stream but not when stuff like this comes into play you know like this is this is stuff that would be too tilting if you have hardware or computer trouble even if you uh, just grind every day so i'm deciding to just not stream my mom is actually coming within a few hours i'm going to pick her up Mirta's parents are here so we're going to have a lot of family time here a lot of quality time with people who we haven't seen for a long time and won't be seeing for a while i wasn't going to stream that much anyway i had like five streams left in march so i've just decided to cancel the rest of the streams i'm going to record for you guys on youtube i'm going to record uh, some special stuff that i've been wanting to do for a while because you know as long as i don't stream which is super intensive on my pc or any pc or connection there's nothing wrong so i can easily record videos offline so i'm going to make some youtube specifics which will be nice and very exciting i'm also going to get some projects rolling i have a huge thing that's going to be fucking awesome that's 100 going to be on my stream very visually in your face when i get to canada so the timeline is kind of like this the 28th we're moving to victoria in canada i'm just dropping my stuff off the next day flying out to run to reno in Reno, which is going to be super fucking exciting. When I get there the 30th, I'm going to be playing the main event there, which is $600 main event at the Pepper Mill Casino and Resort. All the other poker streamers are going to be there. Fucking Chris Moneymaker is going to be there. Other streamers are going to be there. People from the fucking streaming industry is going to be there. Fans are going to be there. The whole Run It Up Warrior crew is going to be there. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be an absolute blast. Jamie's been telling me all year this is the most fun event to go to. And I don't plan on missing any of them from now on. So really excited about that. So I'm going to be there for three to four days. And I'm going to be back April 3rd setting everything up. Um, I'm going to make sure that the new motherboard is there. I'm probably just, honestly just going to get a new case, new motherboards. All the other parts are super pristine, fast, furious, violence everything so everything works except for those parts so i'm just gonna swap everything out have a new travel case made for it there and do what i can so i've never built a pc before but i should be fine we still have a laptop and a camera and have people assisting me and it's kind of time to learn anyway so i can start learning how to fix stuff on the fly or at least know what's going on it'll also 
Teach me more stuff about what's going on with the computer, all this shit. I wish this was a happier message. Sorry for that, but don't think I'm just gonna sit down, do nothing. You will still see content in one way or the other. Do follow my social medias because I will keep updating those. I think that's about it. It really sucks because this high roller series is going on everything. I don't even want to think about it. I might try to just stream and see how it goes on the high roller series final, but... I have bad hopes, man. It's I've tried everything and it's just... Even normally, even when I just use my computer normally, there's glitches sometimes, so... It's slowly dying and it's just something we have to accept. I don't think that registering some high roller tournaments to just see how it goes is a smart thing to do. I also huge shout out to you guys for dropping all the, po the comments. I really like engaging with you guys more. I've been very appreciative of all the likes. It's really fucking awesome you guys come out and support the channel so much. I know that you guys like the poker content most of all. Like you see that the AMA and the Fortnite stuff gets a little bit less love. Also some more dislikes. That's natural. You know, that's natural. I understand that, guys. I just want you to know, even on, on Twitch, you know, I stream all the time. I do other stuff as well. Sometimes I'm just sitting there playing Nintendo games and I stream it. So it's just kind of like a look into my online life and playing Fortnite, doing Ask Me Anything, hanging out with the community is definitely a part of that. And never worry, there will be plenty, plenty, plenty of poker content. Some of which I am going to create right now offline. I'm sorry. I'm truly am. Um, I do feel like it's out of my hands. I've... Like, I started streaming every day at 9, I got up at 7, started working on the connection stuff, checking everything, testing everything, testing signals, tracking signals, see what the best server was, measuring everything out, streaming, do like, uh, summary stuff after, reflect on how it went with some of my technical assistant awesome community people, and it's shit. And it seemed to work, and we've had some good streams, and we've had some really long streams without problems, but it's just, it's too inconsistent right now to continue streaming and like i said i'm pretty much canceling only on five streams so that makes a big difference if there was like 14 days of streaming planned i mean fuck it <laughs> it makes a difference in how bad it is but i wouldn't have been able to stream then too if if at any time now is a pretty good period we're in a transition period between two spots canada will be absolutely fantastic we already have optic fiber there we have a very very nice apartment uh, the infrastructure is very good the ping to any server from there is going to be 10 20 whereas now i have like 90 minimum if i want to connect to a twitch server and i do promise you guys that i learned from these things we're traveling i learned from this i will not move to a similar situation again everybody said panama was amazing internet costa rica too but there's some other stuff that just makes it a little bit less ideal even now when you look at one order stuff right like you want to order a motherboard not really possible here. Uh, you should be in a country where boom, two days later it's in your mail, you can fix it, you can just fucking keep streaming. And that's that, that really frustrates me, but I'm happy that that is almost over. We won't have that problem in the future again. If I run into the same problem in Canada, I promise you guys, I will leave within a few weeks and just go home and settle there and set everything up and build a fucking castle because I don't want this either. Streaming is my job, my passion, my ambition, and that's what I'll keep doing. Also, we're looking to extend YouTube, but more plans on that soon, but you'll also see me make more content for you guys. So press the subscribe button. If you venture in here from social media, and you also want to get the YouTube alerts. Press the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications and the bell if you want. So you get some push notifications and we're going to work hard and see you soon. Thanks for understanding. Bye.